All right. Um, okay, a new episode or video about EV. So there has been a lot of updates, um, and the first one, I'm just gonna add a reflection probe or light probe back here into the scene. Oh. So there's a new uh, option. I think it was there before, but it was grayed out. Uh, the show data. So if you enable it and make this a bit larger, you see you have a re reflection um, uh, kind of probe here. So that's pretty nice, and you can always hide it. So you can use this to like set up and check the um, settings for the scene. Uh, so with that one done, we're gonna look at the other one. I think you can like change them from here also. If you add like a probe, a light probe, you can always change it to a grid. The same with the cube and the grid. I think they're the same. Um, and so so this one, I don't really know how to use them, but I'm just scaling the. Um, the, like the grid box itself and the same thing here we can uh, show data and we can scale them up and you can actually see the irradiance sampling going on um, if I do some changes you're gonna see them they go from like black and then they t -t 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 render out so for I'm gonna make them even bigger so you on this you can actually see like where the uh, light is reflecting uh, I don't know it's uh, maybe it's called irradiance cache because it's kind of like caching up um, uh, as a grid sample of the scene so what it does actually is like um, if we hide that, that one for a while and check on the light probe instead so this one makes the reflection for the glossy or the reflective uh, materials. Meanwhile, the, um, the radiance grid uh, is the one that makes stuff like this happen. Uh, I saw it. Yeah, now you can see actually that um, it, it makes the it's make like it makes like fake global illumination or especially reflective uh, colors so i don't know why actually why it goes away when i turn around so uh, that's a bit funny why it's blue here and uh, as you can see when i move this uh, orange sphere away the irradiance cache is still like um, uh, it's not updated so what would be nice is to have like a button that uh, you you update all the caches I haven't seen that yet so what I usually do is make some changes and you can see that it's kind of redoing the caches and um, there's another thing that's also been enabled now and that's uh, filmic so that's nice I think I'm gonna stick with that one, but oh. yeah, yes, keep it at base contrast. You get all this like the um, curves and stuff you get with filming. But uh, um, in the video with the shares and stuff like that, I mentioned it that um, the how it sampled the environment texture. Uh, when you didn't have filmic it really was uh, blown out on the whites so but this one is not that super I'm gonna do a test with um really bright um, environment texture so yeah this is kind of neat um, you can totally see that if you have a like if you're gonna do animations with this 
or if you're gonna have um, larger scene for your game assets it could be really cool to use all these like the reflection probes and the radiance cache um, but it seemed kind of weird that I got the Kind of, it's kind of bouncing red here from the orange there. I don't. Uh, or maybe it's from the. No, it has to be from this sphere. It should be from the objects. This blue can't come from anywhere here. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, it's all it's all uh, pretty new and. Uh, uh, I can't move to a different layer. So, uh, but another thing that's happened is that um, the hair particles are back for EV, or not back, uh, finally enabled for EV. Just gonna see if I can move this one out of the way. Somehow you have to go in edit mode for for it to update. So yeah, we can crank this up to 500. We're gonna make um, new material. Uh, let's make some kind of green hair. Yeah. Maybe something more realistic. It's really laggy the uh, UI so far. So 5,000 hair particles. Let's add some child particles and display all of them. Mm, the viewport is really smooth. I only notice when you try to move this around it's kind of heavy um, I guess the same goes for like uh, yeah whoa animation doesn't really like uh, like it when you like whoa. display all the hair particles but that's uh, like you shouldn't really do it unless you not for animation uh, but hopefully they kind of optimize that uh, in the future is if you're gonna do like play bl blast uh, open GL animation rendering from the viewport it would kind of be nice if it doesn't totally collapse I'm just gonna turn on a random hair I have no actually no idea I don't use the hair particles that much. But I'm kind of looking forward, especially if you're going to have this kind of um, PBR, PBR enabled viewport, it would be really nice um, um, to try and make... Um, I've watched that the Unreal uh, talk about their re their new realistic uh, um, human, so you have some kind of assets you can try out. And I was I wanted to check out if you can use the hair or the um, uh, objects uh, rendering, and just have billboards like transparent PNGs, and not strands, uh, and see if you can get it into Unreal. But so far this looks kind of kind of good. Probably the the glossy is a bit too too glossy. If we increase the roughness. It's gonna be more realistic looking. But yeah, that's ki quite a lot of particles. Like uh, not really bogging down the viewport unless you try to move it. Otherwise, it's kind of okay. Yeah, that's it.